Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As always in these videos, I'm sure you've already guessed the topic of today's video from the title, which is how to remove toxic people. And by remove them, I mean remove them from your life. So this video is kind of like a part two to the video that I just uploaded last week, which is how to spot toxic people. So as a follow up to that one, I'm gonna tell you guys a few tips, advice on how to remove these people from your life. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now there are a few ways that you can remove the toxic person from your life. I guess maybe it just depends on who you are as a person, maybe how toxic they are, how long you've been friends with or have had this person in your life, a lot of different variables. So in order to proceed with everything else I'm gonna talk about in this video, you need to first identify if this person really is toxic and if they really are someone that you want to remove from your life. So in order to do that, you need to know if they are toxic, obviously. So go ahead and watch my video from last week on how to spot them. And if you've decided that they are toxic, then come on back to this video and find out how to remove them from your life. After you've identified the toxicity, you need to be firm. So once you decide the way that you're gonna move them, whether that be sit them down, have a conversation with them and kind of let them know, yeah, I don't yeah, really I don't wanna really have you in my, have life, my life, anymore. life anymore. I think I we should kind of cut all ties life. and not be in contact anymore. Or if you wanna just go with them to each their own, you do you, like I said, there's a lot of variables that will contribute to the way that you handle the situation. But however you decide to do it, you need to be firm. You need to make sure that you stick to what you're doing, try not to have any doubts and fall back into it. And if you are going to talk to them about it, be very clear with them about what your intentions are and then keep them at a necessary distance. And if you need to on social media, you can mute them, unfollow them, block them and do whatever you need to do to keep them at bay where you want them or have them completely removed from your life. As soon as you notice or begin to notice these toxic behaviors, call them out, call them out on their and on any lies and inconsistencies. This shows them that you're paying attention to what they're doing and you're not gonna stand for any nonsense. And then you're also giving them a chance to explain and apologize and take accountability for their behavior and their actions. As I said earlier, be firm. You gotta make sure you're not being too nice. Maybe don't go full savage mode on them. Again, different people in different situations maybe are in need of different things, but still don't be too nice because if you're being too nice, they might not take you seriously in what you're saying. And it might sound harsh, but as I mentioned in my video prior to this one, talks to people like to take advantage. So they will try to take advantage of any kindness that you are showing them, especially pertaining to this kind of situation. If they know that you don't want them in your life anymore and you're kind of thinking about removing them from your life, they're gonna try to do everything that they can to hold on to that. So add an extra light. Lighting's not good right now, it's getting dark. I filmed a lot later than I normally do today. So I'm having some lighting issues, but we're gonna work through. Like I said, it doesn't mean you have to be cruel to this person, but you should stop going out of your way to be overly accommodating to them. And you need to stand your ground. And like I said, be firm. You also gotta realize it's not your job to save these people. Everyone's going through their own <laughs> Everyone has stuff going on. It's not up to you to fix them and solve all their problems and save them. You gotta take things as a learning curve when you're removing these people. So you're move one and you gotta be on the lookout and stay vigilant to avoid letting other toxic people into your circle and into your life. So you should also set stricter boundaries. And by getting rid of one or many of these toxic people in your life, that is setting stricter boundaries. And as you're setting stricter boundaries, make sure you're bringing your standards back up or heightening them even more. And don't allow anyone to treat you how you wouldn't treat yourself. I feel like I've mentioned these types of things in videos before, but I'm gonna reiterate them again here because they do fit. So maybe check in with yourself and make sure that you aren't allowing people in that are toxic and they're gonna demonstrate toxic behavior and just do toxic <laughs> to you. I think the most important thing is to know that when it's done, it's done. Toxic people have a tendency and will continue to keep coming back if you let them. It's a learned behavior. They'll always try and find a way to come back. So if you really want it to be done and you really wanna remove them for good, and don't want them anywhere near you or anywhere in your life, you need to make sure that goodbye is goodbye and you stick to that and do everything that you need to do in order to keep it that way. So like I mentioned earlier in this video, if you need to mute, unfollow, block, delete them everywhere that you need to, then do that. So unfortunately, if you're at the point where you are ready to remove them, I'm sure that you've probably tried lots of things to keep them, as I mentioned, setting stricter boundaries, calling them on their sh to give them an opportunity to fix it or to apologize and fix their behavior. All that doesn't work and then you get to this point where you decide, you know what, I cannot have this person in my life anymore. That very well, unfortunately, might be the case. It's definitely a big decision and an important decision, or it can be for some people, if you decide to remove a toxic person from your life, especially if there's someone that is very, very close to you. So as I mentioned, you need to be sure this is what you wanna do. So assess the situation, maybe, Talk to some other people around you, other friends, family members, anyone that knows this person, especially knows them well and knows the nature of a relationship and talk to them about what they think. And if it is time to remove them, you gotta do what you gotta do. It might be easier said than done to remove these people, but at the same time, 
try not to overcomplicate it and just cut them off if you gotta come off. Toxic people are gonna try and manipulate you, they'll try and talk you out of it, but you need to be firm, as I said multiple times in this video, and stand your ground and say, no, no this, is this is it, is it. I'm, done. I'm done, this is done. This is done. done. Goodbye. Goodbye. That is all for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed and comment down below any other tips or ways or advice you have on cutting toxic people out of your life. As always, subscribe for more weekly content from me and you can hit that notification bell down below if you want to be notified when I upload every Friday. That is it for today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.